everyone and welcome to my new video. This is FIFA 64 on the Nintendo 64 and I've always been a pretty big fan of the FIFA games um, ever since they came out on the Sega Mega Drive many many moons ago. Um, but there was a period in FIFA's history where things went a bit wonky for them. It was round about this time when the sort of next gen of consoles come out and it was almost as if Electronic Arts didn't really know which direction they were going to go in with their new range of FIFA games on these formats and the sort of net result was you ended up with a with a run of FIFA games that were pretty terrible and this is one of them. Now I'm not playing this game on any sort of super accelerated speed, this is the normal speed and as you can see it looks very arcadey and in some respects looks almost borderline hilarious. Um, it, sort of, it sort of looks like the oldie timey football footage where everyone seems to be running at 90 miles an hour. Um, sadly though, I mean in my opinion it just renders this game virtually unplayable. I mean I, I, I cannot stick it and it's not because it's an old footy game because I'm, I've got another review coming up um, of a football game from you know round about the same time that still plays well today it's it's nothing to do with the fact that it's old I mean a game either plays well or it doesn't and in my opinion this just doesn't play well now again you know these things are all down to opinion but it, to me there just seems to be fundamental issues with how the the players handle um, how the ball moves, what deems the tackle, the, the whole control system is on its ass as far as I'm concerned. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. Uh, as you can see there, player gets the ball, decides he's going to play a 1-2 with a player behind him. Um, you know, the, the, I just I couldn't figure it out. It was driving me absolutely insane. I mean, this was this was probably the third go that I had of it and you know I'm a I'm a FIFA fan I mean I've I I'm one of those morons that buys the update every year um, and I really enjoy playing it though I mean that's that's the thing the reason I buy it every year is because I do enjoy the game and I like the updates and they 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 sort of nowadays got together a pretty good um, engine for the game and they just go around tweaking it and that's okay by me I mean they've they've struck gold it makes a crap load of money every year you know it's essentially pounded pro evolution soccer into the ground which was a you know a huge surprise really because I never thought that would happen and you know all fair play to them it's always got issues people it's always got detractors but that's par for the course but this is a FIFA game that to me just doesn't work. I mean, twice there they've had an attack and they've hit the, you know, the player's been right there on goal and he's just repeated the same animation. He's just kicked the ball and he's hit the post because it's like there's a rigid programming. And it, it does make this game frustratingly difficult to play. Um, you know, but the, you never know if you do. If, if, what you're gonna when you're gonna pass the ball, whether it's actually gonna go to one of your players or not. There doesn't seem to be any um, y your control over the player seems limited, and I think in part it's because the the players have a predefined animation that they go through um, before they do anything. So it's like they have to go through this pre-scripted bit of animation before what you do or what you want to happen actually happens and I don't know if you saw it there but I think the collision detection as well we might get another replay of this with the goalkeeper kicking the ball it looks like he actually kicks the ball with his knee <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know whether this was actually rushed out to get on the N64 and it, there was no proper optimization or tweaking done or what I don't know but 
by God, I absolutely detest this game. Oh, look. Jürgen Klinsmann scored for Germany. That, that gives you an idea of how old this game is. I think it was probably something like 1997, 1998. I don't know. But it, there's just very little joy to be had. I would imagine you'd have to persevere so hard with this game to start getting any kind of understanding or enjoyment out of it. And when there are other bigger and better, well I won't say bigger, but if, when there are other better football games out there, to me it just doesn't seem worth it. So yeah, I lose, what a surprise. That's uh, FIFA 64 on the Nintendo 64. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to my channel for more to come.